Hi everybody, welcome back to another Gran Turismo video. Uh, I wasn't sure if I was going to upload this one, but I thought, hey, you know what, let's just do it. Uh, so I started this race and I did uh, a very rookie mistake. I, I I pondered for a moment, I wondered if I left the uh, left the oven on. And whilst I was doing that, I, I forgot to look at my brake markers. So if you look, I, I, I brake a little bit late here, probably about the 100 meter mark, and oh dear, uh oh. I almost made it, I was almost a hero, but someone tagged me on the uh, rear left quarter. So I've gone from whatever the, whatever place I was in to uh, dead last. Yeah, so that was that's definitely a rookie mistake from me. I'm not saying I'm the most experienced guy in the world, but that's a rookie mistake. Uh, so here we are, we're on lap one, we're rear in last place. Uh, probably the worst start to the race of Monitor that I've had. Oh, at least we've uh, got one back for pride. Now approaching lap 2 we seem to be catching on the Veyron, but you never hear about a uh, Mazda 3 catching a Veyron before, so it looks like we've got the momentum here, we get to make the move here, but unfortunately he tries to shut the door when I'm already there. Uh, seems to be quite a popular defensive move for Monza, I didn't appreciate it, but I'm not the type of person to return the favour. Uh, so here we go in the switch drain of a Bugatti Veyron in a Mazda 3, you know, mothers take kids to, to school in this car and we're overtaking a Bugatti Veyron. Let's see if he tries to turn in again. I'm definitely alongside here. I've definitely got the advantage. I've got the extra momentum as a break into the corner. Fall on the brakes. Turn it round. Cut him off. And then let's see. Yep. Okay, lovely. Kept it in track limits. No penalties. Because those penalties are really easy to get on Monza. If, if you play Gran Turismo and you play on Monza, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So we're checking the mirrors now. And uh, as you can see, the... Uh, it looks like the Bugatti Veyron is really struggling to keep up. I, I can't believe I'm saying this, you know. The Bugatti Veyron is struggling to keep up with the Mazda 3. Yeah, okay. Let's just let's just go over it. So, uh, probably last, who is actually in my last video, uh, he, he's having an issue. He's got a penalty. I throw it down the inside. He, d he tries not to give me room, just like the uh, Bugatti Veyron. Oh, we've got another place here. He's having an issue. He went off on the corner before. Oh, we've got another guy. <laughs> it's not going too bad, you know. I went from, I don't know, probably 13th place to last on the first lap. And uh, by halfway through the second lap, we're already back up to 10th. That's not, that's not bad, to be fair. It's not, I mean, like, one of them is an over... Well, one of them is a real overtake, really, on the Bugatti V1. The other one is they were just crashing. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, that that's Monza for you. It's just kind of like a bit of a clown show, really. Alright, so as we go, it looks like we're progressing to lap 3 shortly. We have, have the uh, the Mazda 3 up ahead. It's probably a Mazda 3 behind because there's a lot of Mazda 3s in this race. I don't know whether you notice. Know see that you can see the uh, There we go. We've got the Mazda 3 trying to uh, get in the slipstream of the Mazda 3. Uh, I, I, myself, and two. I'm trying to get in the switchstream on the Mazda 3 but they're a little bit too far away. I, I, I should really stop saying Mazda 3. There's, I swear, if, if there's any videos that recommend the Mazda 3 because of the amount of times I said it in this video, you know, if like the actual Mazda 3, you get Mazda 3 review videos of the actual car, like recommended after this video, I'm so sorry. Anyway, so let's, uh, let's continue on. So as we're going on, looks like we've got the Mazda 3 behind. Sorry, can I call that car anything else? Okay, we have the same car behind us. Uh, it doesn't look like he's that close, but it turns out he's like amazing on the brakes. I mean, I, I am actually a B-class driver and for some reason I keep getting thrown into the A-class lobby, so uh, that, that's, that'll probably explain that. Uh, so as you can see, he's right on my ring piece there. Uh, don't Google ring piece, it'll provide you interesting results. But it looks like the two guys in front are battling, which means that we should be gaining on them. We're not close enough though to really take advantage of the switch stream. The Mazda 3, the other, sorry, the same car is on the right hand side. It, you know, he, he's, he's quicker than me, okay? Okay, I said it. I'm not the best in the world. I'm not Super GT. I'm a B-class driver. Okay, so um, we're, we are in 11th place. We've lost one place on the third lap, so uh, we could do better. Oh, we're actually in the slipstream open though, so we've definitely got a better exit there. So he doesn't defend, 
which I was a little bit surprised because he, he definitely seems a little bit aggressive. He does race fairly though from from what I've uh, seen here. Uh, so yeah, he shuts the door. Now to tower, don't stick it in just in case he does a Bugatti Veyron on me. Uh, so we just progress down the uh, final straight. We're about to start the fourth lap of four. And uh, we're in this stream of uh, Struff 1. Okay, so uh, he's also in the sit stream, but I'm, I just might be able to get a run on here because I'm closer. So let's just pull out to the right, wait for our braking marker, which is at 150 board there. Okay, so we get it down on the inside, but we can't get it ahead enough for the uh, for the second apex. Oh, I actually give him a bit of a bump there. That's going to give him a bit of a boost. I'll oh, put me wheelers on the dirt there. Uh, I do like rally, but I wasn't actually intending to do that at that point there. Don't, just so you don't get confused. Okay, so now trust me, this race is an hour for me. If you watched the last race that uh, I had, you, you you know that I had an interesting final lap, and this is no different. All I wanted to do really was just stay close to them because I had a feeling that something's going to happen. Uh, as you can see, we've got two guys in front with penalties. That's good. He's got uh, is that a zero point five penalty. Yeah, he's got half second penalty. I think the guy in front's got a bigger penalty, like second and a half, something like that. We, we wait when we get closer, shall we? Oh, three guys up, up ahead have actually got penalties. Oh, this is looking good. It's all coming up, Millhouse, for any of you Simpson fans. Okay, so let, but we're not close enough to make a move here. I mean, that would that be one interesting dive bomb, wouldn't it? Uh, all right, so let's just get it in there. Looks like uh, 10th place there, he's gone off the track making it easy for me looks like someone's just goes to the yeah he hasn't got much momentum let's see if i can get by him without him trying to push me off the track and it's, it's looking pretty good well we got another place there and we're up into eighth no now here comes seventh okay let's ho hope that nobody's going to give us a big dive bomb at the end and oh they're going side by side for the corner if you look in the mirror okay so we're up to fourth gear and we're just going to power it in keep it on the inside we don't really have to defend this but it looks like so yeah we're in seventh place That's, that's, that's not bad. I mean, like, considering I only overtook one person, technically, and it says I've overtaken seven, I mean, technically, I'm a hero. Like and subscribe.